Here on Earth, building better neighborhoods is an ongoing project and passion for us at News Channel 5. Today, our team spent the day working side by side with construction crews to deconstruct a condemned home. But it won't all be for waste. News Channel 5's Joe Paganakis is live on 5 to explain how parts from the house will be recycled. Joe, what a great project. It really was a lot of fun, Lee. News Channel 5 Building Better Neighborhoods volunteers team up with volunteers from Habitat for Humanity to deconstruct this Akron home. Hundreds of parts taken out of this house that will be given a brand new life. The siding removed from this condemned Akron home, a house that simply can't be saved. So, bit by bit, valuable items from the home are being collected by volunteers with Habitat for Humanity Summit County and News Channel 5's Building Better Neighborhoods. Building materials that can be recycled and sold for use in home improvement projects. A lot of this stuff, if it wasn't being recycled, resold to help more families, it would be end up in a landfill. So that's not doing anybody any good. So it's been, it's very rewarding. Deconstructing homes is nothing new for Habitat for Humanity. It recycled houses last year with help from the city of Akron's demolition department. And more deconstruction projects are scheduled for 2013. We have planned 25 with them this year. We did about nine last year. So um, we're just increasing, um, you know, as the program goes on. Many of the items taken out of this house will end up here at Habitat's Restore, a 30,000 square foot warehouse filled with salvaged sinks, cabinets, windows, doors, and more sold at a 50% discount compared to retail prices. The restore for Summit County is at 2301 Romig Road, just across from what had been Rolling Acres Mall. Uh, and then the items that can't be resold that are of scrap value, like the aluminum and those types of things, uh, you know, those are taken for scrap to a uh, salvage yard. The, things like the vinyl siding, that, that goes to a separate uh, plastics manufacturer. And coming up on News Channel 5 at 6 o'clock, we talked to Habitat experts about the hundreds of parts taken out of this vacant Akron home. How much are these parts worth at the ReStore? You'll be surprised by the answer coming up in a live report at 6 o'clock. Reporting live here in Akron, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. Great work out there, Joe. You and everybody, the whole crew. Thanks so much.